Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, definitely. Shoot, mm. I'm trying to figure out what I can add to that. Um, <laughs> you got it right. Come on, not you. You got the brother. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Philosopher. Come on now. Um, um, I know you nah, got a wait. book quote from there somewhere. <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I would say, um, number one, I, I want to say, I think, because you alluded to something about like your body and your looks and mm-hmm. things like that. I think part of the reason our community in particular of women are over indexing on sex appeal mm. is because they're out of touch with the essence piece. Mm. Right. And since I don't know how to do exactly what Ja just said, I'm gonna look the part. Right. Mm. I'm not gonna look like what I've been through, that type of energy. Mm. But I think I think of a woman as like water. Mm. Right, for multiple reasons. There's a sexual connotation out there. You know what I'm saying? But also, like, mm-hmm. water is nurturing, water is life giving, life comes mm-hmm. from water. Mm-hmm. Um, water is also powerful, it can crash, mm-hmm. you know, it can mold things, it can, it, it, it you know, it shaped our planet. Mm-hmm. Um, and water nurtures plants, right? Mm-hmm. And I think the metaphor for plants is a man's dream. Mm. Right, like what? What type of man does he want to be? And the right woman will water that seed mm. and potentially um, help it bear fruit or mm. expedite the process of it bearing fruit. Mm. Now, that the wrong type of water can nurture the wrong type of seed, right? Mm. Like if you if you water in an ain't shit nigga, you're just gonna produce more <laughs> more, <of>, more <laughs> doo, yeah, right? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so I, I think, um, and I said this um, last week. One of the things that breaks my heart is like a lot of women are out of touch with what their power really is. Mm. And the power That's is really too. like girl power is really um, dictating what type of masculinity we see grow and proliferate. Mm. Right. Not just what men are replicated, what men are cloned, literally, but also what type of manhood are we, the female delegation, championing Mm -hmm. in our decisions, right? Mm -hmm. Are we championing men who sag their pants? We're going to see more men sag their pants Mm -hmm. because you're going to have those men's sons, right? And we're also going to inspire the non-sagging men to start sagging their pants because they're seeing that it's successful with women, Mm -hmm. right? But I think a lot of our sisters, unfortunately, are out of touch with that power and instead would just like to shout from the rooftop what they wish men were without actually aligning your actions with mm-hmm. who you would like men to become. Mm. That's, that's dope. Oh, mm-hmm. I want to add, I I add, add to that. To it too, yeah. Absolutely. Um, in my observation, without being too judgmental, I feel like women are the most beautiful thing on the planet. I feel like they have the most power and influence. So they have within their grasp the ability to change the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm if they can see themselves in a certain likeness. Mm. But they choose the easy route. And the easy route is to use the filler. You mm. know, like the filler is for me to duplicate what everyone else is doing mm-hmm. and to still be attractive. And for men, we see past that. You know, we see your duplication, right? There's no originality. So for men, we bypass, it's like scrolling on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And every other every other post you see another ass, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So it becomes so it, it becomes such a normality for men that we lose value and respect for women that deserve the respect. Mm. So and those women are fighting and crawling for our attention, but for the most part they don't realize that they have to be influential in each other's lives. Like when I, when I said the, the, the first quote and it went viral about women need to hear that from women, they didn't listen to the whole conversation. Mm-hmm. Still have it. I was they angry. They have a clip. Still, still have it. Still have it. Leave my boy alone. Still Watch the whole thing, y'all. Is <laughs> which I, I was leading to that because right. women have more impact. And I know you mm-hmm. as an influencer, you know how challenging that can be, you know, dealing with the, the female delegation, you know, mm-hmm. from a woman's point of view. Um, so for men, we've kind of given up on that space to try to be the two, you know, the teachers because they don't want to listen in, in a lot of cases. Mm. So for women, when they're stepping into that space, they're like, hey, they just as stubborn with us. Mm. They are. So how do we change that if the feminine energy is difficult to influence its own energy? Mm. Mm. Is a question that leaves me we, baffled. Well, we, 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 well, we're going to try to sort it out, but you had something you wanted to add. Yeah, I was just going to add to pretty much what everybody was, was saying. Um, hmm. 
So one thing that I feel like me as a woman, don't jump on me, sister. I'm so sorry. I got to split this out there. (laughs) But one thing as a woman, I know that we have strong desires. We try to be alpha female all the time because we want to bring that energy to the table. Mm -hmm. But we forget about the desires that we crave, the desires that we that we need. Mm -hmm. Besides the desires that we want, Mm -hmm. what about the desires that we need? Mm -hmm. That we need to push us to go to that level. To be able to get that alpha male, that that male that we need or mm-hmm. desire, mm-hmm. for lack of better words. Because mm-hmm. I'm independent. I, mm-hmm. I pay my right. own bills and stuff, but I still want you to cuddle me and mm-hmm. I want you to be the man and me be the woman. But I'm the woman and I do I can wear the pants too. That used mm-hmm. to be me. That's, yeah. I'm speaking that from me, not nobody me. else, but that used to be me. And a lot of us that women have to step you. out of that. We have to step out of that shell. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's confusing mm-hmm. and it's conflicting. It's confusing and it's right. conflicting not only that person, but it's also conflicting and confusing yourself. Absolutely. Your own energy. Just lying to yourself, mm-hmm. if we're being honest. Absolutely. You're lying. And I think the, the core of it is like women haven't been taught to value men. Mm-hmm. So if I don't value something, I can't consider what that thing is looking for, mm-hmm. right? So I value a job. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read the job description. Mm-hmm. They're looking for somebody with these skills, with this education, with this experience. Mm-hmm. Um, but when it comes to a man, you don't consider what he's looking for because I, I feel a sense of entitlement to a good man. Mm-hmm. And I always use the metaphor of like, mm-hmm. if you are a basketball player, did y'all play basketball? I did. Okay, mm-hmm. you play basketball. Mm-hmm. All right. And and what position did you play? Forward. You mm-hmm. played forward. Mm-hmm. Let's say a, a five star recruit was transferring to your school. Which position would you be would you prefer that they played and they didn't play? Would you want another forward or would you want maybe a point guard? No, a point guard. Definitely had to be a point guard. Mm-hmm. So when we're hearing all these women talk about, oh, I'm, I'm, I make six figures, I'm educated, I'm well known in the community, all this masculine stuff. It's like you play Ford and you want another Ford to want you. Mm-hmm. When just like you said, a Ford is looking for a point guard. A point. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the rebounds. I need somebody who can shoot and pass mm-hmm. the ball. But they're right. missing that balance. Yeah. It's, it's all about balance. And that's the other essence mm-hmm. of a woman. She brings balance to a man's life. Because mm-hmm. we're all about efficiency as men, mm-hmm. right? That's why you, you know, people joke, oh, he only got two things in the, uh, in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Or he only got a couch and a TV. We're all about efficiency. Mm-hmm. What a woman brings is balance. balance. Yes. Right? But mm-hmm. if if... She's not leading with that essence. It's mm-hmm. off-putting to us. Even if she looked good in the whole nine. Mm-hmm. If you've had good-looking women, if you've been around women, it, don't yeah, it ain't going to mean shit. But this mm-hmm. other woman, she might not be as good-looking, but she has that essence. She walks into the room with that yes. energy. She has a smile. Mm-hmm. She has a sunny disposition. Mm-hmm. She doesn't look like the world owes her nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going yes. that way 10 times out of 10, For sure. unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it sucks now because even... The idea of women smiling or men even encouraging women to smile mm-hmm. is now viewed as an insult. For it's sure. now viewed as, nigga, what the fuck you do? I, mean, mm-hmm. I don't need to smile. This mm-hmm. the, the, and now rest in bitch face mm-hmm. is praised. Oh. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, are you guys looking at the big picture? Like mm-hmm. a lot of dudes, and to your question, how do we fix this? Mm-hmm. A lot of dudes' answer to that is we're going to leave. Yeah. And we're going to have them sit with their nonsense and have them die alone like Kevin Samuels and mm-hmm. people like that would say. And eventually, maybe the next generation of women will figure it out. And I'm shouting like, yo, mm-hmm. the good dudes are leaving and the bad dudes, they just going to keep fucking y'all over because there's no incentive for them to change. Yeah, because what they're doing is when a woman makes herself financially attractive, mm-hmm. she puts herself in a position of a man. So, so she attracts man feminine women. Oh, it's feminine men. Exactly. Yeah. So now he, don't, he at home laying on the couch. You know, because you're the breadwinner. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. He's putting no. that good D on you. It's always going to be yep. a no. You know, and, and you're stuck now. Do. Right? So it's, it's, it's something that you see. It's like a domino effect. Yeah. You know, and unfortunately, women are going to have to stop it. That's, that's, that's the only answer I've ever been able to come up with. You know, mm-hmm. women are going to have to stop it Talk in to regards me. to that. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me. And a girl, mm. and they were like, "Oh no, that is insane! That's stupid! Mm. You're being stupid!" And I'm like, 
No, think about what you're saying. It's mm-hmm. got to be even handed. So then when you speak the truth, sometimes you get called to pick me. Mm-hmm. She you just want to be picked. No, I pick me. I don't need right, nobody to pick me, but I'm going to tell the truth. Because mm-hmm. Bible said the truth shall set you free. Who period. don't want to be picked for the softball team? Yeah, period. You don't want to be picked last. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some, and but, some things we just need to understand is not trying to be picked. It's what makes sense. Right. Mm-hmm. If it goes against, because I mean, I think back to early on we started doing these talks, mm-hmm. and I was listening on the defense, mm-hmm. listening ready to, which... Oh, you didn't grew. I love you, you, you I'm serious. serious. I was sitting over here saying, like, yo, she, she, she went. She I, I, you, yeah, watch y'all was here. Y'all were here. Yeah, you were. Like, like, I was, yeah. listening, I on defense. I was yeah. listening on defense, just ready, like, to protect my, fam- my women because I grew up with a single mom, you know, mm. we got all these girl power stuff. Like, you're not going to tell me this, this, and this without me telling you this, this, and this. Mm. But we have to understand that sometimes... We're not always right. right. Mm-hmm. We don't know. We right. don't have all the answers, Sway. We, we mm-hmm. can't know it all, but we have to. And we also, while we can't know it all, we also have the obligation to be the fixer of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can even add to that with you. The last time I came, believe it or not, I was listening on the defense at times. It happens. Yeah. It happens. Because okay. I'm still it going happens. through the hill, and I was like, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you can look at some of the body language and see when certain things trigger mm-hmm. me. And I was like, but that caused me to have to go home and sit because I'm in that journey and say, mm-hmm. so why was you triggered that quick, mm-hmm. you know, from something like that? What is that? What is the root of that? And mm-hmm. so it all goes back to that. That's why I'm constantly, but being raised by a single mother. Mm-hmm. I'm a strong, independent mm-hmm. woman mm-hmm. that had to mature and learn, okay, you're not always right. You don't know everything. But my question, can I ask a question? Yes, absolutely. To the men, mm-hmm. as a woman that is successful, mm-hmm. that is cute. You know, mm-hmm. cute. Period. Mm-hmm. Y'all like it or not? Yeah. But to somebody that carries us, no, because people don't like you to say that. Yeah, Women no, don't like you to say that. It. You can't yeah. be cute, but I stand on that. Mm-hmm. Say what you want. Stand but as this. a woman that walks in the room, and, and when I come in the room, my energy is gonna command the room. Mm-hmm. That's just who I am. Mm-hmm. But I get a lot of men. I won't. I don't like the word intimidated. Mm-hmm. But the perception of who I am is already painted. They painted a picture <laughs> to where they have a whole perception of me, especially on a dating. Oh, you got all these Negroes. You got all these men. Mm-hmm. You're going to expect somebody to be a simp. I'm not being a simp. So they've already put up a line of defense, and I'm just me. When in actuality, because I have all of that, I'm looking for substance. Mm-hmm. I don't need a man that can take care of me. I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. I can take care of both of us. Mm-hmm. I don't need a man. I just need you to lead. I need you to be sure of you. I need you to have vision for our family. Mm-hmm. And that's just that. Whatever else, we're going to come together and meet in the middle. Mm-hmm. So why is it that women that Before are on that level... Intimidate men? That make... No. I don't, okay. I don't like to use you. that. No, no, no. But why is the perception always that a woman that is successful, nice looking, well put together is going to be this mean girl? Before the men answer, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a little bit of why. Based on <laughs> what you said. I don't need a man to take care of me. I can mm-hmm. take care of me. I can take mm-hmm. care of both of us, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. That right there, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's they're going to eat you up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's, but that's what does. Even because even though in your head you, you, you're not going into it with mm-hmm. that perspective, mm-hmm. you still have that perspective. And you still have that mindset of it. So well, no, 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 no. Y'all took that. Mind. I heard you say that. No, 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 no. It's, and it's not, yeah. we're not, we're not, I'm not taking it that you feel that way, oh. but, the, but the way you voice it. That brand. That, 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 that brand, that, that way you're voicing mm-hmm. it to us and that, that, right. and that way you, that air you walk with, right. that's something that men pick up on. Mm-hmm. I don't know how. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, but, I, but they, they, under, they understand, they feel that vibe. <laughs> and when you have that, even in your mind, it's like, well, I can take care of me and you. Uh, you already, you've already put me at a disadvantage to where, well, maybe I can't take care of you because you're, talk, you're putting me in that space. But that, so that's just, that little bit, this snippet right there is a little bit of why men may True. see you in a different light. But that's never been voiced. That's what I'm but saying. But it, it don't have to be for them to understand it. Because the, 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 the meaning behind that is mm-hmm. that I don't want you for your money. Because the majority mm-hmm. of them think I want them for their money. I want mm-hmm. something from them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to come in and I'm going to see what you got and how much money you make, what you drive, and that's never been me. you coming from Even a place where you can give. Right. Yeah. So I come in trying to give to mm-hmm. let you know I'm not trying to take. Mm-hmm. I don't want to take nothing from you. We come together and we go up because mm-hmm. if I have and you have, we go up. But if I got to pull you up or you got to pull me up, then it's going to take us a little longer. Mm-hmm. So if we both come in with the mindset that we're coming together to grow and to mm-hmm. elevate, then it's a little bit different. 
But yeah, I get just how I just voiced that, what mm, you say. Yeah. But no, I meant on a sense of they automatically think, oh, you got to have somebody to drive a Benz. You want somebody that, that, that works in a, uh, as a CEO. You want somebody that makes this much money that I automatically get perceived. And I'm like, I didn't even say nothing. I just walked in the room and said, how you doing? Mm. Okay. So the perception is what always gets me and is aggravating. What's your spin on that? What's your answer to that, bro? Look, look, I see he got something. <laughs> He's gonna eat me up. No, 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 no. no, no. He, he, I'm, no I'm just waiting. Give it to no, you. but seriously. Yeah. I've wanted to ask men that were intellectual enough to have that conversation mm -hmm. to nod. Well, I think I think what you have to consider. Um, so I've been talking about like passport bros. Sure. Right. And in my opinion, I think women who are serious about I want relationship, I want relationship from a certain caliber of man, you have to let go of this idea that, oh, these niggas are just looking for a woman that they can run over or they're looking for a woman mm. who uh, they can control and things yeah. like that. And just consider what attributes do the women in these communities that they're going to have mm. that for whatever reason we lack, right? So... Thailand is a big place men mm -hmm. are going to. Yeah. Colombia is a big place that men mm -hmm. are going to. Brazil, things like that. And what's ironic about places like Colombia is like um, it 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 has amongst the highest single mother rates in the in the world. Wow. Right. So the idea that oh we're going to find non single mothers is not the reason why men are going over there. But for whatever reason, they're willing to compromise the fact mm -hmm. that she has kids to still settle down with her. And when I've talked to these guys, one of my boys lives in Colombia and Brazil. Number one, I think it's good faith. Women are entering that relationship with good faith or that interaction with good faith. Um, it's, it's, it's the mindset of, um, I think you're a good man and I can't wait to learn more about how good you are. In America, the mindset tends to be Show me if you're a good man. Mm. Prove yourself. Prove yourself, right? Mm. And, and I, I call that entering a relationship or an interaction in bad, in bad faith because it's assuming that you're not good. Mm. And I have a bit of grace with women because the truth is, you know, a lot of dudes incarcerated, a lot of dudes, um, mental health, things like that. So most of the men that you're going to come in contact with, especially if you're in certain environments, live up to your jaded expectations. Mm -hmm. That is confirmation bias and it fuels how you see men. But again, you have to be thinking from the lens of what kind of man do I want? Mm -hmm. And is he going to receive what I've been in practice giving other men? Right. And not even on a, on a relationship end, but just like my disposition. Right. Mm -hmm. If he's in this room and I walk in here with this RBF that I'm used to, how would that potentially play off it? Or if he's in this room and I'm over here dressed like a slut, he might not see me. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I think um, not just like the interaction y'all just had, but yeah. like if, if women put their themselves in the mindset of not just what do men want? But what kind of woman would I want for my son? Because that changes the mindset. What kind of woman would I want for my son? And how much in proximity am I to that woman? And you have to be honest with it. Sure. Right? It's not about your ego. It's about like, okay, yeah, I have a kid or I have some kids. That's a demerit. What do I have that men value that makes up for that deficit? Right? Because women of other countries, other communities, they know this. And they're taking a lot of these men. And we have to take it seriously. <laughs> But a lot of times we just rather shame those men as opposed to take a look at ourselves and consider what they're doing that we failed to do. Them. Yeah, I don't draw them. I, I don't I feel like also women don't choose men based on their leadership skills. Mm. That's very important. Like when a woman sees a man, she probably see him based on his his sexual appeal and mm -hmm. how he looks. Clout. Clout, you know. So his leadership skills, um, women don't choose men based on leadership skills. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of great leaders. Mm -hmm. It's just that if they look towards his leadership skills, you know, how well can he delegate a family? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. how well can he delegate finances, right? Mm -hmm. How well can he run a home? You know, how good is he around the home? Mm -hmm. All these little intricate things that uh, contributes value to a man, most women don't have the eye to look at that. Right. They look at his physicality first, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, if women can change their approach into looking at men from a leadership standpoint, mm -hmm. they'll get away from 
how well he dresses, how good he looks. All that's important. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you want to you want to look at his leadership skills. Mm-hmm. You know, how is he leading himself? Mm-hmm. And, that's and, first and, and foremost. And like I've been saying, like I think at the core of mate selection is procreation. Mm-hmm. So whether or not you even want kids, I think you should have some kind of um, reverence for what that means. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, from a woman's perspective, if you're with a man, you're essentially saying, whether subconsciously or um, uh, consciously, that the world needs more of him. Mm-hmm. And I want to help make mm-hmm. that happen. right? Mm-hmm. And, and I want to help grow what he has going on so mm-hmm. the world can see a bigger version of him. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, our community in particular, the men that are being chosen for that honor are just men who look the part. His beard connect. He's mm. six foot five. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he dark skin, not a Destin style. He light skin when that was not his that, style. Not a Destin style. You know he got good hair. We'll he have got good kids. Good, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's these shallow yeah. um, benchmarks yeah. that now men are being asked to hit. And if you tell us this is the bar, we're going to hit that bar. Mm. And, and if we can't hit that bar, we're going to head somewhere that somewhere we can. That, yeah. But like, and this, this is the part about this whole passport, bro, Thing that particularly breaks my heart. In order to even be a passport bro, you have to have a certain kind of job. You mm-hmm. have to have a certain kind of income. You have to have a certain skill set that is marketable regardless of where you are in the world. Mm-hmm. Those are the men that are leaving. The ones that women are complaining about, they're going to be right here with y'all. Mm-hmm. Stuck. Chilling. Oh my you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, this is this is dire, especially for women who are still looking for companionship, who are still right. looking for... If, if you don't want that, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But if you're looking for that, you need to pay attention. Why are these men going to Peru mm-hmm. and Brazil and Colombia? And what is it that those women are doing that we're not? But often, just like those shallow benchmarks we're asked to hit, a lot of women only hit shallow ways of thinking about that. Oh, it's because those bitches have good hair. <laughs> or it's because it's because she don't speak no English or exotic. Yeah. Nobody's more exotic than y'all. That's a fact. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nobody's more sexy than y'all. Exactly. exactly. Nobody's more sexy yeah. than you. Like it, it's it's like I'm telling somebody often how it feels. I'm like, okay, your upper body's good. You need to start working on your legs. Mm-hmm. And I see you in the gym doing doing freaking bench press. I'm like, mm-hmm. you really don't want it. You still mm-hmm. just working on the thing you know you're good at, yeah. as opposed to the pain of like. Being terrible at this thing, whether it's being warm or friendly or whatever the case may be, and slowly working your way into that becoming a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you will attract not just a man, but the type of friends. For sure. That are going to change your disposition. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I've been working on in my my healing, the the singleness healing, Mm because I've never been. The AF. (laughs) 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 But I've never been like this single to where I've been able to take a look at myself and see what parts of me is missing that I know that this man could bring to the table for mm. me. Um, I've never, I've never even thought about that part. I'm just, I've always looked at the external. He looked good. Mm. Oh yeah. He packing, whatever, whatever. Mm. But I've never looked into the fact of what can he add to what I already have? Mm. How can he help me grow as a person? Will I be able to help him grow as a person? Mm-hmm. Can we bring that balance to the table? Mm. That's one thing that I've been learning to pick up on within my healing journey and my single journey, my singleness, because mm. right now I'm free and mm. I love it. Yeah, I love it here. Um, mm. Let me learn more about myself Yeah, because mm. that's where I'm at. And I think nice. for me, like to put it in a black perspective, I think what's the most heartbreaking about this situation is like when you look at the history of um, colonialism, you look at the history of slavery, the whole concept was how can we make black men in particular as unnecessary as possible Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. so during slavery like we talked about last time protect and provide yeah men couldn't do any of those things Mm -hmm. so ideally or not ideally but uh, essentially men didn't exist for 400 years black men did not exist for 400 years now because of that we are hypersensitive to feeling obsolete Mm-hmm. And our women have also been socialized to reinforce the idea that we're obsolete. Nothing feels better as a man than feeling needed. Oh, for sure. And when we hear women, whether in a soft way or a more harsh way, <laughs> I don't need you for dot, 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 or I can do dot, 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 dot which is unfortunately the prevailing narrative amongst our women. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's not y'all's fault. 
Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. without fathers, without having men to rely on, mm -hmm. yes, the mindset is I can do it by myself. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the men that you want, they need to be needed. Mm -hmm. For sure. They need That's to how we be thrive. needed. That's how, That's we, how we thrive. Yeah. And, and what I've seen be the most successful is the mindset of, like I said before, um, he's a good man. I've done my due diligence, so I'm not just making this shit up and projecting an idea of who mm -hmm. I want him to be. Right. He is a good man, Right. Um, how can I help put him in environments or put him in situations to um, flex that muscle? Mm -hmm. My man's strong. Here's a jar of pickle. Show me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, what tends to happen is that energy is being put towards sons. Mm -hmm. A man that is, he's your age or older, but he's essentially your son. Mm -hmm. You're raising him. Because unfortunately, with a man who is a man and he doesn't need you for real, Mm. Um, there is that fear of being obsolete. And since mm. you're in your masculine energy, for the most part, you've adopted some of men's fears mm. of feeling unnecessary. And that's why I think you see some women with these uh, adult toddlers. Mm -hmm. That's what I call these men, My, adult that's toddlers. That's a fact. That's a fact. That is a fact. That is a fact. Not, not, 